have another holiday makeup look. It can be for Christmas or for New Year's Eve. I'm going to make it with warm tone colors. Very traditional, but of course with some gold glitter. But before starting this video, don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. So I'm going to go with the color Love It. So this is a very pale color. Right now, I started blending the color, but I noticed that it has a tiny, tiny little bit of pink. So I don't want that for this makeup. So I'm going to go with um, Chic It Out, which is this one on the other side of the palette. I'm going to start applying the color just underneath my eyebrows, really like basically touching my eyebrows, just to give that color color because then we're going to start doing the crease. The crease I'm going to go with the BH Cosmetics palette. It's the third edition, the one that has 120 colors. And I'm going to take out, you know, it has two layers of eyeshadow palette. I'm going to go with this dark brown and that's the one I'm going to use for the crease. Starting to bring this color all the way the middle of my crease so I'm start blending this color start doing the same thing on this side of the eye start grabbing more color and start blending the following color it's gonna be from the same palette so we use this one I know they look very similar but we use this one and now I'm gonna go with this one on the top. So we're gonna get this color and just tap it in next to the brown that we apply outside on the crease. So just on this side, just tap it in. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it's just a tiny bit lighter than the previous uh, brown. And then I'm going to bring, or basically I'm going to apply that color on the crease again. And bringing that color all the way, all the way to the side of the eye. Just to finish the top of the makeup. You guys can see the difference. For the lids, I'm going to go with Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay Palette. And I'm going to go with the color Mr. Tutorial. I'm going to apply this with a flat brush just to have more, to be more precise on the eyes. So I think I'm going to have to use my fingers and then use the flat brush. So as you guys can see, I started applying with my fingers. It works better with the fingers, but I'm just going to fix um like the edges with the flat brush i'm going to do the same thing on this side of the eye and just start applying the color with my fingers fixing the edges of the eyes that's why i'm super close i'm just going to add a little bit of creamy concealer this is from maybelline just to have more coverage this creamy concealer if you guys seriously if you guys want to have more coverage you can use this concealer from Maybelline it's so nice and super creamy it feels good on the skin it feels like you don't have it after you put the foundation on top so it's really really nice and for foundation you guys know that I can't stop using this foundation, which is the Colourpop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation. It's in the shade Medium ADW. I'm just going to um, blend it um, all over my face. I'm going to change a little bit for concealer. I'm going to use the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Hydrating Concealer. And I have no idea what shade it is because it doesn't say... I think I put too much concealer because this is super white. 
do a cat eye i'm gonna go with the l'oreal matte signature eyeliner i did a video on this so I'll leave the link down below if you guys haven't seen that one well, i'm going to do a long cat eye i'm not gonna talk all right i'm just putting some falsies these are from oh i have some these are from Ardell, but I don't remember what is uh, what number. While I wait for the lashes to dry, I'm just gonna contour my face really quick. I'm gonna use um, the mirror from the Parkiv Princess Contour Palette from Tarte, and I just noticed that I can put it like this vertically so now i'm gonna go with uh the milani fruit fruit fetish make it last and the scent mango coconut i don't know why i said fush i said fush last time so for so to highlight my face you guys know i love the urban decade after glow i'm shaking why am i shaking the urban decade after glow palette I'm gonna go with the color cliche. You guys know I love this color. So I'm gonna put it on the nose. And while my hair is puffy on the nose, on the bone of my cheeks. I'm gonna get again cliche. And I will put this on the bone of my eyebrows to give more glow. For mascara, I'm gonna go with the Air Volume Mega Mascara. You guys know I'm loving this mascara. I did a video on this. I mention you guys every single time, but in case you haven't seen that video or you're new to this channel, just pop to this makeup tutorial. So this is the Air Volume Mega Mascara from L'Oreal. I did a video on this, so I'll leave the link down below. Combine the lashes and the falsies. Grabbing again the dark brown that we applied on the crease just to finish the look so it matches the eyes. Now I'm going to um, put some mascara on my lower lashes. I'm going to try to add again Mr. Tutorial but the on my inner corner of my eyes just to have that pop of gold just touching a little bit more of this color and with this very thin brush it does grab the color so i don't know what's going on for the lips i'm just going to go with the lip gloss because i want the eyes to pop a lot so i'm going to go with the l'oreal gold mirage crush quartz lip gloss So that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video i love this makeup gold makeup look i feel like like i don't know i feel very powerful with the eyes turn on the notification bell so youtube can notify when i upload a video but hopefully we're going to have a video each week each week every single day but i'll try my best and uh i'll see you guys next time bye guys